I'm Eric Klingelhofer with the First Colony Foundation, and uh, we're here on site at Fort Raleigh to do a little RT. Could you explain to us who you are and what RT is? Hi, my name is uh, Jim Driscoll with MPS3D, and what RT is is radar tomography. Mm -hmm. um, radar tomography is uh, an array system of ground penetrating radar um, set up in such a way that we're able to basically see images underneath the ground. Yeah, I call it looking through dirt. Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty good explanation, but um, what we use a software, it's kind of like a, a synthetic eye that allows us to have more crisp and clear images, um, basically to, you know, to gather more information. Yeah, it's a really improved kind of, of, of ground penetrating radar, but how was this developed first, and, and what's the story behind it? Um, from my recollection, what it is, is Dr. Alan Witten, uh, a paleontologist, uh, started using radar uh, for his studies and um, uh, back in the early 70s, uh, he created a software program that we call a synthetic eye. Uh, basically, that, from that software program, uh, we're able to focus the ground penetrating radar to uh, produce the images that we see today. Yeah. In fact, I understand that that was used in Jurassic Park in the, it, first, in the first movie when you look through the, the, the rocks and you see the, the dinosaur bones. It was. Um, it, it's sort of a quasi, um, uh, see, uh, quasi um, uh, idea of what we're doing today. Mm -hmm. uh, in that particular scene, though, they use sound instead of actual ground penetrating oh. radar. But yes, it's exactly the same thing. Mm -hmm. And I understand you can use it. On, you've used it under the water as well. We have mm -hmm. uh, different types of uh, different types of arrays. Um, there was a, 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 a project that was done in the past uh, where they were searching for a shipwreck and they were trying to confirm which shipwreck it was. But uh, their same software, just a different way of collecting the information that was acoustic, but uh, again using the same synthetic eye to be able to clear up those images to create you know, much more information. Well, people always ask me, how deep do you, do you go down and what are you looking for, or what do you find? Uh, can you answer those questions? Yes, um, depth is relative to the, uh, the soil that we're working in. Uh, we're actually working in pretty good soil here. It's a, a, a sandy soil, uh, which radar reacts very well to. Um, and what do we find? Well, what we're looking for is different densities than the sand that we're, we're on right now. Uh, we find lots of things. Um, uh, you know, our specialty is actually underground utilities and the unknown, what people don't understand what might be underneath the ground. Um, we found in the middle of roadways, you know, 13 foot by 13 foot brick buildings. So there was a, an old um, 1800 railway building uh, mm -hmm. that was on Dixie Highway in downtown Palm Beach. Uh, um, but all, you know, and you must find burials, you yes, must find, find boulders where there shouldn't be, perhaps. Correct. Maybe old streams or something that have been filled in. Uh, uh, we, we found stream beds, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, in certain situations, you, you'll find um, the, the one thing that we can see is the difference where strata has changed, the layers of the layers of the sand that might be underneath the earth. Um, we can see disturbances in those layers. And, you know, start doing research on why those layers were, were disturbed, mm -hmm. you know, what, what caused it. Was it uh, due to recent construction? Was it due to um, just time and more strata, you know, Geological. piling up, right, okay. piling on top. Now, um, uh, here at Fort Raleigh, from excavation, we know that if there's any occupation, if there's any, any human activity, it's mm -hmm. generally going to be observable within the first foot. Mm -hmm. And below that, we're going to find just geological uh, formations there. Mm -hmm. uh, but what, uh, when you're in the field, mm -hmm. what do you see and how do you, or what do you find? In other words, what uh, what form is the information that comes out here today? And then what will it be like when you give it to me and the other members of the First Colony Foundation? Um, what we'll see here in the field today when I'm collecting the data will be raw data. And all I can really do is... Numbers. Can, well, not numbers, um, hyperbolas. Um, mm -hmm. So... I will see multiple hyperbolas that are underneath the ground, um, but there's so many of them that we need 
software on a computer to actually put those together to create an image. Okay, hyperbolas would be uh, uh, radar trajectory. C correct. Where it's bouncing mm -hmm. back in different uh, figurations, right? Correct. Okay. Correct. So as I get close to a tree, obviously I'll see the tree root, but I'll, what I'll see on the laptop computer is multiple hyperbolas. So I don't know it's a tree root until we go back to the software and and the software will stitch all those hyperbolas together to create a linear in it, an image. And from there, then we can say, well, we're close to this tree. We might be able to assume that it's part of the, the tree root system. Oh. Or we can tell that it's not part of the tree root system, that it's something else. Well, that's what we're looking right. for. We know there are trees down here. Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yes, I mean, um, and from that, the final image will be um, and similar to a quick time movie, that is uh, the best way for me to describe it to somebody who doesn't know, understand what it's going to be. It's like a CAT scan. Mm -hmm. And what we're able to do is, when we start looking down through the earth, we're able to take the top inch off and look at that. like maybe something out of the kitchen uh, <laughs> but it's not is it no it's not well an anomaly is going to be anything that's going to be different than the soil that we're in so uh, so these are m noticeable differences. correct okay correct. and they're uh, uh, then it requires investigation and that's called ground truthing isn't it correct it is yeah. we want to check and see what the anomaly mm -hmm. is but we don't know where these are without the radar correct okay so it's a combination of uh, of uh, the uh, the science and the uh, the labor because that's what the archaeologists yes. do really is mm -hmm. get in there and they dig it out with shovel right. and with trowel. What the what the the RT will do though is it'll focus that labor so that you'll have a better idea of where you need to focus all your energy. So we don't waste time and money. Correct. And, so, and it's a shortcut to the truth. I mm -hmm. think getting those things. Yes. Well, thank you very much. Well, thank you.